Hello everyone. We're going to come in real quick and talk about this couple, Everyday Flo and Melvin. Okay, that's not their name. So we're just going to be talking about this outrageous thing. I don't know if they're trying to be celebrities. I don't know if he's just trying to be a celebrity or he's trying to be like that gorilla glue girl who did something outlandish and got all of social media and the internet uh, upset. Um, favoring them and some that are not favoring them. Some people are calling them petty. I'm pretty much in the petty game right now. These two people, um, New York Post is where I'm getting different information from. Just came across my timeline. I thought it was just too dumb and stupid. So why not have it on the show and let's talk about it, okay? They said these two newlyweds had a destination wedding in Jamaica and they had invited all the people they wanted to invite. Money was not a thing. So why am I confused? Why are we confused? If money wasn't a thing, you had it. Money was not an issue. Then why are you pretty much sending an invoice bill to two people that said they were coming to your wedding, but bailed out. Didn't give you a notice, didn't give you anything. Now, again, if it wasn't about the money, why are you putting your two friends, best friends, close friends, I don't know. But if they were good enough to invite to a destination wedding, then I would say they were some really close friends to you and your wife. But just getting slightly into the post. These two people, yes, these two lovely people, they had a destination wedding and it was all written up in the New York Post because this man, um, what's his name? If I can get it right. Um, where's the man's name? Mr. Simmons. His name was Doug Simmons. Him and his wife booked this resort or a room in the resort, I should say. I don't know if I uh, cover some of the hotel fees too. Who knows? A couple of his friends didn't show up for his wedding, so he's kind of upset, disappointed. So he thought he would put them on social media, on his social media platform, and blast them out. He didn't say no names or anything like that. He just said two of his closest friends bailed on their wedding, and they heard about it. So they're going to charge them for the reception bill, meaning the uh, lunch or dinner they had prepared for each guest who reserved. They said it was just a lot of wasted money. And I'm like, shoot. <laughs> Wouldn't have been wasted for me because I'd be like, okay, we're going to have lunch, dinner, and then some snacks off this meal. Okay, ain't nothing going to waste. All right. I've been telling everybody to take plates home with them, take it back to the hotel because you're going to always have uneaten food, uneat, unused uh, beverages. It's just the normal thing when you go to a wedding. Everybody's not going to eat as much as you thought they were. And then you might run out of food. It doesn't, you know, you, you really can't compensate for that. So, me, I thought it was just petty boots deal. How are you going to? Oh, and then my, have you sent an invoice, an unpaid invoice? It's just like sending a bill to a client who uh, used your services and you want to them get them to pay. And then if you did and if you went this far, you go as far as trying to sue them. So I'm like, is this their warning that they need to pay you up within 30 days? And if not, you're going to seek legal allegations against your friends for not uh, attending your wedding? I mean, could it have been something on their part? Maybe they were living above their means. They couldn't afford to come to your destination wedding and were just too proud to say it. You know what I'm saying? They just save face and say, well, let's just not go. We don't have it. Uh, well, evidently, y'all not too good friends because if you were having a situation like that, it should have been very open and easy to say to your friend, I would love to come, but you know, I really don't have the money, but don't blast me out. But you don't set them blast these folks out. So I can pretty much say you lost two friends. Because <laughs> if y'all were my friends, trust and believe, I'd be on my social media page blasting y'all back. But it just is what it is. We know the hidden was there, but let's get on into the story. Uh, New, York, New York Post wrote this article up. A lady by the name of Doreen Lee Walk and Rob Valley Abadi Medulo, or Medulo, whatever. Anyway, they titled it New to Wed Send $240 Bill to Guests with No Shows for Their Wedding. These two, okay? Now, at first, I thought it was petty. Maybe the wife had did and just put the man up to it. I don't know, because we can be petty as hell, too, as being women when we get uh, 
you know, involved in something and it's not going our way. But if she took it on his uh part to just do it, I don't know why, because men usually don't act that way. You know what I'm saying? They, they don't have the time and the attention to focus that long on, on stuff like that. I don't know, maybe his uh hormones were raging out at the time. Who going into the article? It said, um, these newlyweds build guests who were no shows for their wedding. The honeymoon's over for a pair of newlyweds who were steaming mad at wedding no shows, who originally RSVP. Yes, they slapped them with a two hundred and forty dollar bill to cover their costs. A now viral photo of the invoice tickled Twitter this week calling out the no-show, no-call guests and declaring, I don't think I've ever seen a wedding reception invoice before. Laugh out loud. The bold move, which is sure to steal the fate, seal the fate of that friendship spark. A heated online debate over whether the couple's massive a missile was tacky or totally justified. Yeah. I don't know. I had my own wedding myself before. I uh, know and have been to other weddings before. Honey, all only thing you be looking for is your best room coons to be there. And if they're not there, you're going to have a problem with them, okay? And you, you pretty much have them in your wedding party, so you know they got to be there. Okay, and then you have your family members who loved on and everything. They loved on you, and they were just happy for your moment, and they want to be there. I ain't never seen nobody sit there and just tally up every last person that was in their invitation list, that RSVP. They were looking for every last one of them. I, I just can't believe that was on their mind. They should have been getting drunk, or uh, feeding each other cake, kissing each other, you know, or uh, going around, you know, making it about them. I wouldn't have even known who came or who didn't come because I already know in my mind I've been looking for the ones that I know I wanted there to share in this moment. And the rest of them, you know, they could fall by the wayside because I know I invited them. If they couldn't make it for whatever reason, they just couldn't make it. But that's just my uh, thought pattern. Going back to the article, it said the no-shows were given a payment due date of one month from August 18th invoice sent by the once anonymous newlyweds who Royalton Niger Resort and Spa Wedding in Jamaica apparently cost $120 a head for the detailed invoice that made many Twitters assume was fake. Well, nope, it wasn't fake at all. Turns out the online mystery couple Doug Simmons, 44, and Deidre McGee, now Miss Simmons, 43, of Chicago is mighty real, and the post tracked them down on Friday. The good humored groom admitted that getting stood up at the altar, so to speak, made me feel some kind of way. The resulting wedding bill originally posted to Doug's Facebook account put the guilty parties on blast. This invoice is being sent to you because you confirm seats at the wedding reception during the final hair count and note at the bottom of the petty post reads, because you didn't call or give us proper notice that you wouldn't be in attendance, this amount is what you owe us for paying for your seats in advance. You can pay via Zelle or PayPal. Please reach out to us and let us know which method of payment works for you. Thank you. I didn't Now, I'm just going to laugh on that one. Because <laughs> I'm confused. I didn't know this was a contractual agreement. I mean, that's something you made with the people trying to host your event. You don't hold your uh, guests who you want to share your uh, prestigious or royalty type wedding to be just a seer of your love and adoration for each other and celebration, you're going to get them a bill. <laughs> I'm like, these two need to go and sit down somewhere. They really need to go sit down, but maybe they just wanted their 15 minutes of fame on the internet and, and this was a good way to do it. You know, maybe they have businesses or something. I don't know, because if they had business, I don't know if I really want to be fooling with them because I'm a picky person. If, if it's not done right, I'll be with my money back and this, that, and the third. But I, I just don't know about these two. They just made me get a good laugh. And I'm like, they just really didn't have anything to do. I said, they need to be loving on each other. They should have been on their honeymoon, vacationing. And you just know, okay, if they doubt you like that, I was still getting the benefit of doubt. They have a just sit down conversation or a phone conversation. Like, what happened? You know, because we never know. And people may be too proudful to let them know that they ain't have no money. You know what I'm saying? But to sit there and blast them and get them a bill, like Cat Williams' expression, that's crazy. 
Are you crazy? Have you lost your mind? And we love our beloved Dish Rashad playing Miss uh <laughs> Miss Huxtable. She's a lawyer. She probably said that shit ain't gonna stand up in court. Are you serious? <laughs> Woo, child. I was like, uh uh. <laughs> and I'm back to my cat where you say like Nigga, are you crazy? Are you crazy? All right, you don't have too much to drink or something too much to smoke. I don't know. But, uh, no, this is perplexed. This is not a bill. This is not an account. This is not a doctor's visit or a, a car repair bill. This is nothing like that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> hey, go go sit down somewhere for uh, your mama give you something to cry about, okay? Because nobody knows exactly why and where are you going with this, Okay. Oh, my goodness. But anyway, going back to the article, it said, of course, the Twitter rant had a field day depend determining their level of outrage versus support for the present couple. I wish I thought of this a third of the people who reserved for our wedding didn't show up. We paid a lot of uh, food that went to waste, though it was a lot less than $120 a plate, said Jackie Barbosa. Uh, who is Team Doug and Deirdre, another critic threw shade at the Mattis Hail Marys. You are so special to us that we invited you to our wedding. However, we are going to serve a severe uh that relationship uh, uh what do you call it? Serve uh no several, that's what it is, several that relationship for two hundred and forty dollars because you didn't let us show off to you in person. But we will send an invite to our baby shower at some point. So show up with the gift or face collection activities. <laughs> and somebody said they would just uh send their invoice back to them and have L O L laughed on uh, uh uh we call it Moja slapped on there. I just I would just have disappointed with chill running down my ears and said, Oh Lord, let me get in my car and just drive my, uh, let down my convertible uh, car and just roll in the uh, wind and let my tears dry up. Okay, that way. Because these two, they gave me something to laugh about. It was nothing funny <laughs> about missing their wedding. But it was something hilariously funny about them getting a bill. Okay. But anyway, going back to the article, it says, one observer pre-offered a simple response to the couple, send back the invoice with a catch-all LOL scrawled across the bill in a big, in big red letters. However, when reached by the post, the groom admitted, yes, he got a little petty, but I am not some trifling person who's going to bill somebody. I said, well, ain't that's what you did, Doug? You are trifling. You bill these people uh, a, a, a bill that, you know, you upset. They didn't come to your wedding. To let them see all your fanciness and however you splurge your money for the big wedding day. But you are petty and you are trifling for definitely sending that invoice. Okay? <laughs> I didn't know people could get invoices but not showing up for a particular event. Okay? I, I, I just don't understand that. But anyway, um, back to the article. It says, Sim is a small business owner in Chi Town. Stress that it's not about money. He and his new bride were merely hurt and felt disrespected by the no-shows at their hard-earned dream wedding with more than 100 attendees. So I'm saying now, if they were kind of no, maybe good friends or maybe not good friends, I'm leaning on, it couldn't have been that much good friends because then the friends should have been close enough to tell them they couldn't afford to come or something came up, just that and the third, I, you know, whatever. But... You had a hundred plus guest show and you were just looking for them too that didn't that no show. Yeah, I think you are trifling, Mr. Simmons, and your wife is even trifling triflingly er for letting you do that. Okay. But anyway, going back to the article, it says four times we asked, Are you available to come? Can you make it? And they kept saying yes. He told the post. We had to pay in advance for Jamaica. This was a destination wedding. However, at the final headcount, they realized not everyone kept their word. No one told me or texted me, hey, we can't make it, Simmons said. That's all I was asking. If you tell me you can't make it, I will be understanding. But to tell me nothing, but then let me pay for you and your plus ones, four people became eight people. I took that personally. Meanwhile, the newly betrothed Simmons were mom on what steps will be taken if payment is delinquent. But we're guessing Friends giving this year is pretty much off the table. And let it be a lesson for all of us. Don't cross Doug and Deirdre or be prepared to really lay it on thick for a baby shower. Okay? And I'm like, girl, 
sir, really? Was it really worth losing some friends? And maybe they weren't your friends from the beginning, you know, because you only have, to me, count. You could count your friends on one hand, okay? And then you ain't using all your fingers that are down deep with you, okay? And then it was about you and your wife. Who cares if only one person showed and you wasted a hell of a lot of money or a hell of a lot of beverages or whatever? Then you know who are down for you. But the pick and choose to have that much time to go through an invoice that they gave you, that they served you up, and you trying to pick out who all came, that is kind of petty. Okay? Really petty. Petty, 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 petty boots. Okay? But y'all got y'all 15 minutes of fame. It hit social media real well because it came across my timeline, honey. And I'm like, oh, Lord, I'm shocked. This is too much. This is too much. Are they celebrity wannabes? Okay? <laughs> I said, keep hitting that entrepreneurship a little harder. Get your own TV show. And then we can see how much you do grind in your restaurant or your business or whatever you, you, you do in Chi-Town. Okay? And let us observe you a little more closely. And we can scrutinize you a little bit better. Since you put your friends, the so-called friends, on blast because they didn't attend your destination wedding in Jamaica. Okay, that's all I got for this video. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this situation. Was he right to put, or I should say, because they're one, were they right with sending the non-attendees a bill for not showing up for their event? Like it's some kind of doctor's office or some kind of specialty, a specialist they were going to and you didn't reserve the right uh, to get them head notice that you weren't coming. So they charged you a surcharge and then invoiced you for something you didn't attend. <laughs> Cat Williams, have y'all lost y'all ever loving mine? And can't imagine what uh Claire Hustable was thinking. At least she was shot. <laughs> I think they need to come again with that situation. Come again. But that's all I had, y'all. Y'all get down in the comments and tell me what y'all thought about this sensation of a celebrity wedding turnout in their minds turned out to have been a bust. Because all of their guests did not show accordingly. Child, please sit down, Mr. Simmons. Sit down and don't get back up. Don't get back up. Have all the seats in the stadium. All right. And then don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. But that's all I got, y'all. I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.